Hello guys, I'm Hafiz and thank you for tuning on to my channel. So right now it's 2.30 a.m. I'm pretty sleepy, but you know what? I'm gonna do a very short video on how we can identify Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis fake cartridges. Okay, so let's have a look. All right guys, so let's start off with the Sega Genesis. Now basically Sega Genesis is Sega Mega Drive, but we call them Sega Genesis in the America. In Asia and Europe, we call it Sega Mega Drive. Okay, so it's the same platform, has the same games, mostly same games. Yeah, all right. So anyway, Sega Genesis box, very easy to identify piracy. Number one, of course, you look clearly on the Terminator. We have the Sega logo, Sega logo down here, and also the developer name and the rating, or else the Jurassic Park doesn't have any of that. All right, number two, you can clearly see that in the Terminator, the Genesis has light rate, dark, dark rate, light rate, dark rate, light rate, right? It has different shades, and whereas this one is just one color, all right? Easily to tell on the box, and if you look over here as well, um, the Genesis site, it says for sale in USA, Canada, and Mexico only, whereas this one doesn't have, okay? And we have the... Um, game registration number over here okay which is a uh, t81 something something this one doesn't has and of course again easily to tell at the back with the um, terminator having the sega label over here and all the trademarks there you go clearly see all the trademarks over there okay and here we have package and printed or whatever in usa and stuff like that all right and in Jurassic Park, of course, sorry about that. In Jurassic Park, of course, there's nothing to it. Now, that's just the box. How do you tell based on the cartridge itself? Now, as you can see, it's very glossy. It's reflecting, All right? You can see that the sticker is very glossy. That's one thing because the original one, here we go, is like matte finish. The reflection is very mild and it's actually matte finish. This one is way too glossy and this also doesn't have the Genesis word and the Sega label. Over here, this is a pirated copy. On top of that, if you look at the back, not really sure if you guys can see that. Okay, despite of um, stating Sega made in Japan, this is the pirated, yeah? it doesn't have screws so meaning you can simply open up this thing easily see that and of course if you look inside it's just nothing it has a wire over here now this wire soldering is a pirated as a sign of piracy yeah it shouldn't have a wire okay very easy to tell and for the terminator if you guys can see or cannot see I'm not sure now a claim a claim is the publisher I'm sure most of you guys who watch my videos knows a claim and anyway they are using a screw that is right you have to actually screw unscrew it sort of okay so you cannot open it directly and that is how we look at Sega Genesis so let's move on now to Sega Mega Drive alright for Sega Mega Drive is pretty simple too most of the original game have this Mega Drive logo over here, okay? And as you can see, mostly are in Japan. And if you look down here, these are the things you need to look out for, yeah? It needs to have the registration game, the, the game registration number over here. See that? And why this one doesn't have Sega is because EA is always being different. All right, so don't worry about it. And of course, you know, looking at the box itself can clearly tell you that each and every one of them has the Sega logo aside from EA it has electronic arts on top all right and this one has two and as for this one Tecmo is very simple I mean like look at that Mega Drive cartridge okay Mega Drive cartridge Mega Drive cartridge okay all of it has like I said aside from EA road rash just put that aside now I do not have any Mega Drive pirated game but one thing I can compare it to are these games okay out of fighting if you open up the box 
it has also not sure yeah can you guys see that Sega don't be fooled by this yeah because here's what I thought in Singapore most of the games are reproduction they're not imported originally from Japan themselves alright so basically I don't know I don't know I might have been fooled before when I was a kid not knowingly that these games are all pirated and here's an example let me show you I actually got this second hand very cheap however the guy who actually bought virtual fighter look at the look at the price he paid for it it's $69 and he definitely buy from a shop from a retail shop that sell pirated version at a very high price and he doesn't know okay and definitely clearly this doesn't have the Sega Mega Drive logo anywhere so does auto fighting and also this one Mighty Morphin Power Rangers all right no Sega logo at all yeah and tell me about it all these game actually work yeah it's it's working but these are the kind of shits that they sell in Singapore locally and at that point of time without internet and stuff like that I don't know that I actually bought pirated copies because like I said some of them have actually printed out Sega logo themselves now here's a very good example and I'm very disappointed to tell you guys this now my road rash 2 look at it okay I can say that this is a mega drive okay almost like a mega drive it has Sega logo right everything is there it even has the word Sega Genesis okay can you guys see that all right looking at the back it has all the trademark just the real deal like the real deal you open it up now here's the different you need to take note of which is something that I know but I don't want to be very particular until I notice one thing what are you seeing what are you what do you saw everything looks legit it has made in Taiwan everything it has the EA logo it haven't even has the registration number of the cartridge but what is wrong with this it's glossy that is right that means it's laminated and it doesn't have screws also it states Sega made in Japan so I can easily open this thing up and what do we got a very cheap cartridge now look at it all right there you go it's actually chipped off and this part here is chipped off and look at that look at the mark It's cheap plastic I am full now I don't blame the guy who sell this to me but this again I bought from a local guy for I think for like about ten dollars okay he sell me this road rash 2 for ten dollars from one of the Singaporean guys that I bought I met him at uh, Orchard MRT because here's the thing all right EA games electronic arts yeah electronic arts now let's have a look at electronic arts game okay again number one this is glossy yeah so I'm gonna take another electronic arts game all right what do you notice these are all electronic arts game you see this logo okay EA sports all right EA sports EA is electronic arts okay so EA Sports is for their sports, Electronic Arts is for their non-sports games, alright? So what do you notice about all of this? All EA games have this yellow color. Like I said, EA is trying to be different. But look at Road Rush 2. It doesn't have. And if you were to look at all of them at the back, see this. It's a metal, a metal piece of a screw. It's actually metal. This one, the metal is in black color, and as you can see, it's a screw. It has Electronic Arts name here. Even though it's made in Taiwan, this one is made in Taiwan too. All right, and this one is in Puerto Rico. This one is in Puerto Rico, Electronic Arts. This one is in Puerto Rico. This one, of course, is in Japan. Okay, and also it's shipped to Singapore again it has this thing but look over here it has made in Taiwan 
and everything is the same but it doesn't have this the yellow color thing so what does that mean now i'm not saying the guy you know the guy who sell me this he doesn't know okay like i said the box looks legit the box definitely looks legit everything looks legit it even has the sega word on them okay everything looks legit but then again the shop fool him they take something cheap from i don't know because we have syndicates in singapore before i'm telling you this yeah we have syndicates who actually do piracy stuff in singapore and yes you can find them a lot in simlim way before most of the pirated cds in fact look like original in fact the printing looks much more better and nicer than the original version now i'm not lying okay because i know and most of the pirated cds last time back in the year of 1996 1997 when i went to simlim square in singapore they come with a manual that's right they come with an in-game manual that they actually printed out of the original and they only sell it for like eight to ten dollars now here's the thing i open this up as you can see row rest two so let's get back to this so i have a few over here road rest one pirated all right not original what do you notice glossy road rest three pretend to be original what do you see glossy power ranger right glossy art of fighting glossy so what happens if you were to open all this up here you go what do you see them in common they all look alike in fact these two has a fucking sticker over here and all of them have this black thing and they are cheap plastics and this one you know you don't have you don't have to open this at all just look over here look at the gaps that you find there's a huge gap over here see that from here on you can actually tell this is a pirated version okay and this is what upsets me the most i didn't know my road rash 2 is pirated so i went through this shit today i went through this shit and i noticed that it's actually pirated so take note of that guys glossy yeah it's very easy to spot and of course cheap plastics like this all right so here i've laid it down for you all right we're just gonna have one more look glossy okay not glossy you really can see the difference see that the, ref the way it reflects this one is so mild and this one is so strong the reflection yeah and then same thing over here very mild the michael jackson moonwalker this one is damn fucking strong okay and yeah and so on yeah and so on okay very mild world cup 92 very strong okay so that's how actually you identify a you know a pirated copy so let tell me which one okay you can see the reflection when i'm doing this see that and this one is very blurry the reflection is not strong at all original pirated and okay so i hope you i give you guys a clearer picture on how to actually identify so i'm gonna get my road rash too definitely because <laughs> i've been punked all right so that's it all right guys so i hope that really clears things up um again please let me know in the comment if my the way i judge the games the piracy games are the right way and also do let me know uh, if my road rash 2 is actually pirated or if there's anything that i need to look out for more aside from the points that i've showed you guys so have a great week have a great weekend my name is Safis, and i'm signing off from youtube and facebook